So in this video, I'll show you how to enter the patient's sphenoid sinus with an endoscope. I'm going to ask the patient to close and open his eyes so that I can show that the patient is actually awake. So I'm going to take a zero degree endoscope and enter in the patient's left side nose. This is how a patient's normal nose looks like from within. So I'm going along the septum medially and what opening you can see right now is the natural opening of the patient's sphenoid sinus. And actually I'm within the sinus right now with ease and what you can see the sinus is full of a fluid which is showing a lot of reflection on the screen. That is basically CSF, that's the brain fluid that is leaking out from the patient's sphenoid sinus. So you can see there's an opening above and there's an opening below. I'll show you the opening below at your 6 o'clock. So you can see the opening at your 6 o'clock right now, that's called as coena. Uh, so basically that's the opening that connects the nose to the mouth. And this is a sphenoid exactly 1.5 centimeters above. You can see there's a lot of debris mucopurulin secretions pus at your uh, 11 and 12 o'clock right now you can see a small bleeder at your roughly center of the screen so where there is a lot of pus up there and a small bleeder that's the area of the pituitary gland that's the brain behind so exactly behind all that bone is going to be the brain the brain stem the main part of the brain and a huge blood vessel called as a basilar artery in the carotid inside